All right, so I got this used apron, nice original H apron, and uh, I've got to put it on here. Looks like this thing was hit in the back once here because it's all wrinkled. This is all fall falling off. Um, and this is all beat up right here. So, um, first thing I think I'll do is I'll go ahead and straighten this out. And then I'm going to mark my metal up here and see what I need to cut. All right, so I gave it a swift kick with a hammer and uh, got it a little straighter. Now, the thing to watch out for is you see, there's this on the inside, there's this thing, on the outside, there isn't. So, you don't know where that is. Um, and then, so when I cut, to match the two up that um, I don't cut through this part up here. And then you've got this thing. It has this inner panel too. So um, that needs to line up with where the other one went, which was right about there where that little piece is. So... Either I've got to peel this off, or I've got to weld it in further up. And if I weld it in further up, then I'm going to be into this thing here, see? So it's like a catch-22. Uh, i got to figure out what I'm going to do here. I'm going to think about this for a second. All right, so I'm going to need a little mark here. I'm going to try and figure out this for a little more. Um, I'm going to get a hammer chisel try and separate the inner panel on this well I have to say I don't think I ever saved one of these aprons before it's a lot of layers of metal when you lay one on the you know the skin on there is a lot easier to mess with than all this I mean if it was easy just peel the skin off and then uh, just weld this piece on here that I need over there and then put the skin back on. I don't know, maybe I'll have to do that, I'm not sure, but um, I have to figure this out. It's, it's not very easy when there's this many layers of metal. Well, I have to say, I don't think I've ever done this particular one before. Save the old one. I usually just rip them off and then put a new one on. Back in the old days, it used to be available, you know. Now, the Lord wants to put the H ones back on, so got to remove all this this layer of metal here I got to get out of there so I got to find out what's holding that one on I got it out on this side um, you can see there I've got the piece out that fits this piece fits in there this one right here same thing that's what that piece is that's in there so it's two layers and I got to get that out of there bit of work I've done a lot of work already to the to this apron and uh, it was in really really bad shape yeah I don't know if, if I was a shop you know somebody brought me something like this I'd just be like nope just give me a brand new one they make them they they're but they're really expensive it'd be like it'd be cheaper to do it so anyway. Right, so these aprons are always a little bit hard to get on as it is. So, um, this is easily bent different uh, than that is right now. Usually it's bent more like this side is, where it's got an L shape to it. So, so it fits inside this area right here. So, gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that. Um, so, you know, it's just like trying to save old metal is, is tougher some ways than, you know, if you had the, a new H apron, you know, the, the place that makes them is in Europe and they charge, I think 400 bucks, something like that for one of these 500 bucks. I don't even know. It's a ridiculous price, but, um, you know, if you really wanted to, you could actually, if this back half of the car was in good shape this one's not you know and I was just trying to just change the apron um, I would consider 
cutting it right here and just overlaying the H portion over the original over the over the one that was on the car if you were just trying to do that um, but since I've got to replace the metal that's in behind here this is actually probably harder than doing this part <laughs> believe it or not um, there's just a lot more to think about on this little section I knew that when I looked at it when I first was working on it all right so uh, it took a bit of work. I've got it to get over this little lip and kind of had to make a new one there. I do a little patchwork here, of course, and uh, I put a little patch in here. I had to get remove that just to get that little piece of metal out. So, um, so I just got to put a little piece in here. It won't be hard to do. Then I line it up and weld it in place. Um, it's still going to take me a few hours to get it. This one's going to take, you know, this, to do one of these, I mean, to do a regular apron, it's probably, you know, a few hours work. Because those rear aprons are a lot to them because you have the inner panel. And uh, then to do one of these, you're talking about probably double that time. So, yeah, it seems like crazy for an apron, but... You know, you're talking about maybe six hours of work to get it on there and get it to work. So, but yeah, anyway, that's uh, how the process went. And uh, just want to show you guys a little bit about that so you can kind of get a feel for it. If you're putting on a used one, um, it's a fight. You know, there's no easy way to do it. Um, and it'll go on, but it just... It just it's going to take you a while. Then once I get it all in there, then I'm going to have to, you know, it's all hanging down right now. It's got to be straight. It's got to be on there so nice so when the deck lid shuts, there's no gap. All right, so I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.